Okay, so we're now going to move on to the playlist task. Now, I'm going to break this up into three separate sections. Um, you'll see that they're giving you a sketch here uh, as an outline as to how they expect you to um, come about creating this section. It tells you that it needs a box. The box needs to have a specific background colour, which is given to you here, and a border. And then they want the three record images, so record one, record two, record three, in there. And then they want the name of each rec record to its side, so you can see here, you've got the record and the name of the record. And then they want the name of each record to have a H4 tag, so formatted with that specific tag. And then they want the audio inserted or embedded underneath the name. So imagine a box around here with a particular colour, the record images going down, one, two and three, the, the name of each one going down and the uh, audio clips uh, embedded underneath uh, each one as well. So that's three separate uh, sections, so we're going to have three separate tasks or videos for that. So let's begin. We're going to go um, onto the music page and this is what I have so far. So I'm going to make some space first. I'm going to move this out of the way, so I'm going to cut this, move it here, push this down, and again I'm not going to worry about the height of the website, just going to get it all in first, see what I'm working with, and then sort that out after. So push that down there. Now I'm going to basically put my uh, uh, image of the records and the sound clips here. So I'm going to drag this in a little bit. In fact, I want this to be uh, around 557. So, so you can see here it says 581. There we go, 557. So I'm going to put it around here. This will be fine because I'm going to move this back into this area here. Um, I'm going to merge all this, so I'm going to select all of these together and then right click inside, go to table and merge. And that's my area that I'm going to be working on. Uh, let's get it to the absolute top, make sure there's nothing there. Yep, there we go. Uh, and that's basically ready, just save that for now. So I'm going to show you the end result of this, of this box with the pictures in there. I basically use fireworks. This is what it's going to look like. So you can see this color is exactly what they asked for. There you go, CC3333, which is on the exam paper. And I've got these pictures here as well. So how do I do this? Let's start this again. So I'm going to go uh, to File and New. And if you remember here, the width of this area is 557. So, you know, depending on how long, how, how much space you have, you'll type in the space that you basically have uh, to make sure it fits in precisely in that cell. So. I have five five seven there. The width, sorry, the sorry, the width should say five five seven, not the height. The height again depends on what space you have. So you have to basically count it from where you start. So mine starting around here, just one little uh, line below where the four hundred starts. So that from there to there will be fifty. From there to there will be a hundred, and all the way down, and it's about um, three hundred and ten. So that's fifty hundred. Yeah, 50, 100, 150, 200, 200, and no, 310. Yeah, so it stops about there, 310. So I'm going to type in for my height, 310. Make sure it says pixels here, otherwise, it will be too large. Now, I've got the same color there, but at the moment, it doesn't really matter because we're going to put a box in there anyway. So even if this is white, it makes no difference. So I'm going to press OK. And you'll see I'll get the same size canvas. Now, the reason why we need to put a box in is because if you remember in the exam paper, it says they want you to have a box with a bl solid black border of 1px, 1 pixels. Um, so you, you can't really do that with the canvas, but you can very easily with the rectangular shape here. So I'm going to use the shape here, the rectangle tool, go right to the edge, drag one rectangle out right to the edge. There we go. Um, let's fill it in. And it is hash cc3333 enter. 
There we go. Uh, for the line, we want to have a black line. There we go. And you can see that it's already at one. Okay, one pixel. Now you can't see it purely because I've made the box far too big. So I'm going to drag it in a little bit just so you can. So you can see there, there we go. So we may have to move it around until you see the black lines. And if it's hard, you can zoom in just so you can see it better. Just uh, do it as best as you can. Just bring it in as close as you can without wasting too much space. So this can be a little fiddly. And that will do. Okay, so I'm just going to double check that. Yep, black, solid black. You can see the color 0000, which is the color code for black, and it's one pixel. Okay, if I was to change it to two, and uh, you'll see the, uh, the the thickness of the border is far too uh, big now. So I'm going to change that to a one again. There we go. Done. Let's zoom back out. So that's the first stage. You'll see here I've got the background there all I need to do is now throw in these records so to do that <coughs> you can go to file and open those images uh, in your images uh, folder you'll find record one record two and three so we're going to open them all up one by one record one record two and record there we go and then these images will be larger you can see there 500 width by 341 than the actual box that we have yeah so we can't keep it the size uh, that you have here so I've already calculated this you'll basically gonna have to decide how big you want it now you have to basically divide it by three um, so the height of this is obviously 300 so I'm looking around 100 uh, height uh, and if I'm dividing this by three, sorry, this by three, then I'll have to divide this number here by three as well. So I'm going to change my height uh, to 90. And so you'll put the numbers that you think is suitable for you. And remember, you can play around with this. And I'm going to make my width 90. So let's do that again. It's not registered. So click away, go back in again. 131 enter so there you go and 90 enter there you go and then I can just move this literally drag it into this canvas here and get it as close to the edge as I can and I'll move it around later I'll start the next one so click on here do the same thing 131 enter 90 enter and drag that in Okay, and the last one. One three one, enter. If it doesn't show, click away. Go back in again. One three one, enter. There we go. Ninety, enter, and drag this one in as well. Now, once you have all three, you can see how much you're, you're playing around. You can see by spending a little bit of time just calculating exactly how much space you have can um, make it easier to make sure that's consistent and looks more presentable. So I'm going to try to get the same kind of spacing in between each of these images. I might have it too cluttered. And I believe I can use my mouse keys, sorry the arrow keys on your keyboard. So you can do the same thing with that as well just to fine tune uh, the spacing. So there you go. Once you're happy with that, now just be careful about where they are. You want to make sure that they are, in fact, aligned. So it might be good to put it there, zoom in, and make sure that they actually are aligned with each other. And if I'm using my arrow keys here, I can really see 
if they are precise, see that they are now. So if I now zoom out, I know that that line is precise. If I zoom out now, I can basically move this one down using the arrow keys, just down, not left or right. Make sure that this area here at the bottom, this margin is equal to this one here. So I know I need to move this a little bit more. And once I know the top and the bottom are equal enough, then I can really decide how much gap I want here versus here. So just move it until you're basically happy. There you go. And then we're going to keep all this space here for the title for each of the text, uh, for the records, and then space for the actual MP3, MP3 audios that we need to embed in there after converting them. And it's just a simple case now of uh, saving it. So we're going to go to File. I'm going to click Save as purely because I've already got one. Um, you're going to click Save, and you're going to just call it Box. Okay? So I'm not going to save this purely because I already have uh, one. But you'll click Save and then put it in there. Once that's done, we need to put this one in. So I'm going to take just, just take this off because I already have one that I'm happy with. We're going to go back into Dreamweaver. Here it is. And it's uh, a simple image. So we're going to go to Insert Image. And we're going to get the box, paste it in. Don't forget the alt text. Um, this is Playlist. And we press OK. And click away. And we can drag this in. And we're going to keep these titles here for now because we're going to move them into this area uh, in the next video. Uh, we're going to save this, and as always, check that you're happy with this. So let's open it in Chrome, um, F11, and there we go. So the color scheme is perfect. You can see the border around it, and you've got the three um, records in there as well. Um, going back to the exam paper, which you'll have in front of you, you'll see that this is done, so you can highlight that out. This is done so that it can be highlighted out as well. And we're now going to move on to the next uh, task, which is these two items in, in the next video.